Bobby, I hear you, but I, I don't understand what you're saying. It's simple. Sam is yours. Well, yours and Maria's. I don't know where you come into my office and you tell me that I'm Sam's father again. Is this some kind of joke? Joke? No. I'm serious. Bobby, Sam is your son. He is your responsibility, so you don't just hand him off because this crying gets on your nerves. You don't get it. No, you don't get it. It's a little too late to just hand him off because you can't hack it. Sam belongs with you and Maria. Yeah. Until when? Until next week, when Kelsey comes opening our door and says, no, give me Sam no, back. That, that's not going to happen. What are you doing here? Does Kelsey even know you're here? Yes, she does. We see eye to eye on this. Since when do you see eye to eye on anything? <sighs> Look, all I know is every once in a while when I'm not at school or at work or anything, I take Sam here for a walk in the park. And I look at him and I make him a promise that someday I'm going to get him back home to you. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm only keeping my word. Kelsey just gave you her blessing. Yeah, well, you know, reality set in. Sometimes I look at Sam and I, I see him older. You know, five or, or six. And he's just pacing around the house, asking his mom for the bazillionth time, when is dad gonna be home, huh? When's dad gonna be home? And then as soon as the car comes into the driveway, he's out the door like a shot. He opens the car door. And he takes his dad's hand in one hand and, and his dad's briefcase in the other. And he drags him in the house. And on the way, he's, he's rattling off the names of every dinosaur that ever roamed the planet. And then, and then all the way through dinner and through bath time. And, and then even as he's, he's dozing off to sleep, he can't keep his eyes off his old man. You know, the guy he wants to be when he grows up. It's you. Not me. I hear. It's okay. Your son wants to come home. 